Hey, Tej here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500. I'll cover wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide targets and invalidation levels for the presented counts. Let's get going. Starting from around a 15 minute time frame and starting with this count. So what we've had from the bottom here looks to be a one, two, three, possible wave four here, um, and then looking for higher prices. We did have a target here where we had a possible long setup around the 38.2 uh, with previous resistance um, lying here as well on these highs plus this area of a possible wave well this is hmm. yeah it's a bit differently labeled here than on my other count but yeah definitely some kind of resistance here so fibs lining up one to one extension for the wxy here and 382 should be a pretty good area to take a take a long with of course stops below these lows now we have or this count has or the price has now developed a bit we had a one two now possible three looking for the wave four and then for for the wave five now this wave three did not really extend so we could be expecting some kind of extension on the fifth now this target here is again is if we if there is not going to be any kind of extensions then we are targeting this box around 4200 um if we are expecting some kind of um extension here then we would be looking at these targets um 4200 is again the first target 4250 and 4330 now on a higher time frame for this we would be looking at the targets for this one two three four and five now the wave three didn't didn't really extend it got to the basically to the target of 1.618 here um, and now we could be expecting again an extension on the fifth now this is again the inverted wave four uh, which is the minimum targets that we could be aiming for um, higher targets this is again from the start of uh, zero to end of wave three and pulling that down to the possible end of wave four here now we got these targets here which are lining up pretty well with the fifth or last extension here for the fifth wave at this point we would be having to extend this quite a bit five percent still um, but again the invalidation here is really close we do have some kind of bullish divergence forming here currently so that could be a possible long setup as well just trying to catch the last leg but again, in relation for this setup is really close. Now let's take a look at the alternative where we have a possible one, two, three. And currently, instead of making the or labeling the four here, we have been creating a bit of a larger structure. Um, in here, just because this looks like some kind of a zigzag, possibly, um, it is not really clear of a structure um, here we could have again some kind of a wxy or a zigzag i did not label this because it is so messy um, but overall structure looks like three waves here um, i'll label that as an a wave another three wave structure up here could be an a b and c as we have not invalidated this area for the one i would be still preferring it to go with the other count but if we do invalidate that bullish structure here i would be looking into this on this one again we have labeled this as the c wave so oh sorry the b wave on the micro count we could be looking for the last leg down here for the wave c at that point again one to one target um around 4059 is just around these lows we could be if we are coming down here we could be just taking these lows swing failure pattern them um, week through them having these stop losses taking out and then getting up higher um, at that point we could have some kind of alteration between this uh, this structure here and this larger uh, more time consuming structure here at that point again we would basically have mostly the same targets of course depending on how how we want to measure this um, let's take a look here uh, uh, hmm. yeah it's different uh, difficult to say how we're, we are going to even 
look for the targets as wave 4 has not yet formed but let's take a look let's move this out the way first so this is again measuring the wave 3 and let's again assume that we are taking out these lows getting to the one to one extension here uh, still remaining on this wave 4 area that I've labeled here and this would be wave 3 pretty much the same areas that we were looking for before uh, 4300 minimum basically for the wave 5 but we'll see on the substructure that happens after the wave 4 um, if it is going to happen but yeah that is basically my analysis on S&P 500 today um, link to my discord server in the description below if you want to join and uh, if you would like me to update a certain other asset let me know as well in the comments below but again thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye bye